Hello, my name is Joel Johnson and I've been helping people with dental implant surgery problems for a number of years. In fact, over the last two years, I've helped over 30,000 people with their dental implant surgery problems. I personally had started off with dental implants a few years ago and I had the most terrible, terrible problems. What happens is, if you've not had dental implant surgery before, this is what happens. There's all kinds of procedures, but the gist of it is this. Say, you're, say if you, for instance, you, for whatever reason, you lose a tooth, or you need to replace a tooth. They peel back your gum, drill into the jaw, and put a metal insert into your jaw, assuming your jaw is thick enough to hold the insert. If the jaw isn't thick enough, they might put a bone graft in and then they'll screw this metal insert into the jaw and then stitch it back up again and allow it to heal. Once the gums healed and become hard and it's all settled down again, they can come along and make a beautiful white tooth and screw that in. Again, there's different ways of screwing it in or pushing it in, but then you've got a beautiful white permanent tooth in your mouth and there's no problems. Now I've had many, many dental implants and I can speak from personal experience how good it is to have dental implants but I can also tell you from deep personal experience how terrible it is when dental implant surgery goes wrong. And I'll just tell you a little bit about my story now. When I first went to dental for dental implant surgery they never told me about the possibility of infection. Now apparently if you go back to it now, they'll say, oh, yes, we did tell you, you signed the papers. Well, I did. I didn't read them, though. There's all kinds of papers there that will ask you to sign. And sign, sign here, sign here, sign here. Say that we've told you this, 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 and this, and this. Now, I can understand these people, the dentists have got to cover themselves. But the gist of it is it's a real possibility that you might get infected. And if you think about it, that's not the dentist's fault. I mean, in no other form of surgery... You, you, you know, they'll, they'll cut you open, put something in, stitch it all up, and then immediately you're, you're covering the stitches with food and bacteria, a nice, warm, moist environment, perfect for breeding bacteria, to get into the wound and start to breed and give you an infection. What happens is when you go for the surgery, they'll give you a large dose of antibiotics. They will then give you probably a dose of amoxicillin or metronidazole for about a week. They'll invite you to keep swilling your mouth out with mouthwashes to keep the bacteria off your stitches. Now, that may work in most circumstances, but it didn't work for me. This is what I look like after three days after my surgery. So you can see I was, my face, my whole face had become infected. And the antibiotics weren't working. So what I did, I had to take, you know, I've always listened to my dentist and I would always, you know, recommend you do listen to your dentist and follow their instructions. But what I did, I, uh, in addition to that, I took my health in my own hands. You see, I've been researching into natural remedies for over 25 years. So just as your dentist is an expert in dental surgery, I'm an expert in natural remedies. And I knew that there was a blend of natural antibiotics that were perfect for gum problems. So I've treated people with gingivitis, gum infections, bleeding gums, spongy gums. I've treated people with this remedy for years. And it's called Gum Doctor. It's just a blend of very powerful natural antibiotics. And it's liquid. So you don't swallow it and away it goes into your body. You just put a couple of drops on your finger like that. And just massage it. Wherever your stitches are, just massage a couple of drops. Just, just rub it on gently. That's it. Now on your first day or so, you can do it every couple of hours. You can do it for a couple of days. You want to make sure that your gums do not get infected. That's it. Because if they do, you'll end up like I was. I use the Gum Doctor Remedy. And I got rid of the infection within a couple of days. 
But if you yet have not had dental implant surgery, I would recommend that you get the Gum Doctor Remedy now. So you'll go along, you'll have the procedure. I didn't bother with the sedative. I've never have done. And I've got a whole mouthful of implants now. You know, I've never needed it. But you'll have your the surgery, which isn't pleasant. You're going to come home, you're going to need a lot of painkillers. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatories help but you, you'll have your own choice of painkillers but the important thing is do not get that wound infected now they will give you antibiotics and take the antibiotics but they don't always work but this does so use it come home follow the procedure as your dentist recommends but put a couple of drops three four times a day and especially at bedtime or after you've eaten Put the drops onto your wound, onto the stitches, and that's it. It'll make sure that your gums harden and heal in a healthy and quick fashion. Yeah? So it not only it prevents gum infection, or if you've already got the gum infection, we're going to have to get it out to you straight away. Now, you can get the Gum Doctor Remedy from teethneedgums.com. That website's been up there nearly 20 years since it came up with this remedy teethneedgums.com well guess what implants need gums too so you're gonna to have to look after your gums put this stuff on your gums get your gums to heal quick hard and then they'll be perfect condition to receive the tooth when your dentist decides okay teethneedgums.com the gum docs will be sent out to you straight away if for any reason you don't want it you're not happy with it for any reason you get a hundred percent money back guarantee and if you want to drop me a line, there's an email there at teethneedgums.com and there's a free phone number if you need to speak to, any, to me or anybody else. So good luck with your dental implants and I hope they look as good as mine. I'm really pleased with them, but I would not ever have dental implant surgery without this stuff. All right, bye for now.